All right, guys. So today I purchased, it just del got delivered now. Uh, it's by, I think it's pronounced Fi Fine Microphone. And it came in this box. And some of the other reviews that I've seen, it looks like the box is bigger. But uh, I'm going to open it right now. So I hope this isn't, I didn't select used. I thought it was brand new. It came right from the Fi Fine company. So let's see what this is. Hopefully, oh, there it is. So it is in another box. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, it's kind of not nice because it's probably polluting the planet with more boxes, but that's beside the point. Uh, so yeah, so here it is. And we'll just toss that over there. So this is it. This is the Fi Fine uh, microphone that I uh, purchased. If we could, there we go. Yeah, so. It's a gaming mic. I did a lot of research on this, and I gotta tell you, this thing sounds phenomenal, and I paid $39 for this on Amazon. Um, so yeah, this is a USB microphone, and we're just gonna pop the top off, and there's the foam here, and then there's a the little microphone in there, and oh, what do we got here? We got a manual, of course. You gotta have your manual, cool. Uh, I've been watching a lot of people review this microphone and some of them say some pretty silly things, I guess. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, comes in a nice box, nice packaging. And this dude on, that I was watching said that this was uh, plastic. This is actually metal. You can tell it's metal. Um, it's definitely a metal mesh pop filter. I don't know if you can see that. I put it over here. There it is. I'm looking at it on my watch. That's my monitor, my watch, um, that I can actually see things on. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's got a shock mount, as you can see. It, it's wobbling. Uh, the volume control's on the back. Some people were complaining about that. The light control, because this is an RGB microphone. This is RGB. The whole thing lights up, as you can see on the box. Um, the whole thing lights up. So, But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook this guy up. It is kind of, it does feel kind of cheesy. I don't know if that, you know. Uh, yeah, this thing, I don't really like this stand. Yeah, well, I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you can see that. Let me put the box down. And let me uh, get this guy down just a little bit more. Hold on a sec, right there. And yeah, so as you can see, I'm gonna look at my watch again. Let me move it over here. There we go. So here it is, uh, and it came with a this little package here. It's kind of cool. It comes with a, I believe it's a, a, an eight foot or a six foot USB cable. And then it comes with this guy. So this is another mount. Um, as you can see, this is another mount that you um, uh, can use to put on a boom arm. Uh, which I purchased also. I got it right here by Toner. Um, this was like 29 bucks, and I got it for 18 on Amazon, which I was very happy about. Um, so let's see, I'm opening this guy up too. Uh, this is supposed to be really nice. Now, I what I like about this guy, and here's the manual here. It's a Toner, Toner, a Toner. I don't know, I'm from Boston, so I put A's in front of it. I'd say Tona. Um, uh, the T20 Studio Boom Arm with Instruction Manual. Okay, good enough. We got another instruction manual. This one was really cool. This came with a pop filter, uh, which I have a couple of. I have a couple of different pop filters, but this is actually really nice. It's a really nice pop filter. It's double layered, so you don't get those, uh, those plosions which we all don't like because you know you get that poppy sound so this is kind of cool it came with this guy which i thought was really cool that they included that thing i mean like i said 29 dollars i believe the package was more than that it was on sale but i had some points through amazon i got it for 18 dollars, so that's not too shabby um let me put this over here and then it came with a microphone um, windscreen, as you can see, which is kind of cool. I don't know if it fits on here. I'm not even going to try it. But yeah, so it came with that. And um, I could always use it on another microphone. 
And then this is the arm. Let's see if I can get this in focus here. Open this guy up. And oh, we got another mic clip. So yeah, so they gave me another extra mic clip if you wanted to use like an SM58 or an SM57, just a regular microphone. Not bad, not too bad, kind of cool, right? There it is. And I love this, they gave me cable ties, really nice ones too. Um, so you get cables organized, nice Velcro cable ties and they say uh, toner on them. There you go. So put those over there. Get this guy here, we're gonna open up. See if I can get that open, there we go. And this is the, this is why I bought this mainly, because it's a nice big clamp. Look at that thing. That's really nice. Um, so I'm very excited to try to use this today. I'm gonna set this up. Oh, and it also doubles at a, as a headphone uh, holder, so it can hold your headphones, which is awesome. And let's see. And I'm gonna get the arm out in a minute if I can. A lot of stuff to unbox here. Yeah, so I've always wanted these arms. When I used to do a podcast with a friend of mine, um, I always wanted, he, he had two of them, and we used to use them in the podcast, and I always wanted them. And he was like, well, just take one, man, because that's how Dean is. Dean's cool um, about stuff like that. So, and I said, no, you know what? I never thought I'd want one, never thought I'd use one, but uh, yeah, so this is the... The toner, oh, a little screw fell out. This is the toner boom arm. And I hope that screw is not something important. Oh, there's another one. What the heck's going on here? Yeah, a little screws fell out and a little nut. Huh, I hope it didn't break. Oh, it looks like it broke. Well, that's not good. So that'll be going back. That is not good. Where did that come from? Oh, right there. Yep, this is going back. Oh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's, it's broken. So this has got to go back, guys. But I'm going to show you what I, why I bought this. Oh, that's really weird that that broke like that. Um, what a bummer. This is why I bought this, because it's solid, and it doesn't... And it goes in right, right here is where the, that little nut goes and it broke. That's a bummer. Um, but I like it because it doesn't, and it's on the base too, that's, that's where that little nut goes, but um, it doesn't move. Um, it's, it's very stiff and I like that. A lot of them are cheap, cheesy, and they're, st they're not stiff enough, but this one is. But unfortunately that little nut, um, I mean, I probably could fix it, but why would I do that when I could just send it back and say, give me a new one? Because this is not cool. I don't like when I get things and they're broken, um, but it is what it is. So anyway, so I'm going to get this stuff set up and then we're going to go from there. And maybe I can fix this to just show you what it looks like all set up. Be back. All right, so I managed to get it set up. The arm was kind of messed up. It's still messed up. It's got this little tiny screw in here that's... I already set it up for a return with Amazon, so, because I'm a little pissed off that it was broken, but you know, it happens. Um, so yeah, this is the microphone right here, and I'm gonna plug in this guy. It is USB-C, which is really cool. You see the shot of the back of my head there. It's great, isn't it? And I'm not going to wrap the cord around or anything yet because I don't know exactly wh what I want to do, but here we go. And there it is, you know, it's, um, it's an RGB mic. Uh, now the cool thing is, is a lot of the guys I saw interview with this, or review this, sorry, um, basically were saying, you know, oh, you got to press the button. These aren't buttons, they're touch sensitive. So for instance, like right here where the, you, you can actually change uh, static color, right, purple, just tap it. All right, the red looks really cool. 
you know, then you have the uh, the yellow. I mean, it's just it just looks cool. And then if you tap it again, there's white, and you get the gradient look. And then you also can just I think turn it off. Now the other guy's like, oh, you got to unplug it to turn it off. You don't have to unplug it to turn it off. You just got to hold your finger back down on that button again. And it's right here. You got to hold it and it comes back. So you don't have to turn it off. Purple uh, is my color. As you can see, my keyboard's purple. Um, I don't know if you can see that down there. Turn that back on. Um, but this is like a gradient. Uh, well, it's doing a gradient thing now. I don't know why. Okay. All right. Well, it's just, it's cycling through the colors. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but then on the top, um, if you can see, I'll just move this over a little bit. If you can see on the top uh, of the mic right there, uh, you just tap that and that mutes the microphone. You just touch it. Anywhere on here, just touch it, touch it, touch it, and it turns it off, which is actually very cool. All right. So, yeah, so let me just get my camera back to position here. Sorry about that. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, Echo, turn off Studio Lamp 1. I'll show you. So this is what it looks like uh, basically uh, with the lights off, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so it's actually really cool. Um, and I haven't tested the sound out yet. Uh, I'm going to um, in, a, in a little bit. And let's see, I just want to get my color back. There we go. So we got kind of like a purple color, which is cool. Uh, again, I got this boom arm. We haven't tested the sound out yet. And I can do that right now. Let's see. So it's a USB microphone, right? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Let's open up Logic. And see what we can come up with in logic. See if this uh, this works well. Give me one second. All right. I'll open up logic right now. And again, I don't know if you guys can see my keyboard. I'll just show you. My keyboard uh, is purple. And there it is. It's a custom built keyboard. I built the keyboard, so my colors are purple. Right, so here we go. So let's see, let's open up Logic's preferences and go to audio and we have input and we're gonna say Fi Fine Microphone. There it is right there, look at that. I'm gonna apply it and see what happens. All right, so we've applied it. Let's open up a track, an audio track. There we go. And let's see what happens here. Because from what I understand, it should just be as simple as turning this guy on. Let's see, input one. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, so basically it's picking up my mic. Um, I, I'll show you if I can just grab the camera here. So right here we can see it's picking up my microphone pretty well. I'm pretty close to the mic. It's about halfway right now on the microphone. I have it at about 50%. And as you can see, I have it pretty, pretty loud right now. Um, and as I get closer, it's going to get louder. Yeah, so it looks it looks like it's going to record. So let's let's try recording. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and record something, and let's go test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there it is. So let's try it. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's amazing that this microphone sounds that good. It's blowing my mind. And I'm not like, Echo, turn on Studio Lamp 1. 
And I, I gotta tell you, I'm blown away. And the other cool thing, it also has a nice headphone jack underneath. If you can see the headphone jack, let's see if we can get a shot of that guy. Uh, I'm not doing so, yeah, right there. So there's the headphone jack right there. Now I haven't tried that yet, but from what I understand, and you can actually hear me over my speakers too, which is kind of interesting. So, and there's no latency at all, none whatsoever. Um, yeah, so, I'm curious to know what this also can do. Um, you know, it is cool. Fi fine. I, I got to say, you make a great microphone. $39, $18 for the boom arm. Um, crazy, right? And the boom arm also came with a really nice pop filter and one of these guys, uh, which I probably won't be using. But yeah, I'm blown away. Fi fine. I believe I'm saying it right. I hope I am. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, and it's, it's, let's see if it's picking up some room noise. Let's see. I'm going to actually shut my mouth right now. There is some room noise, but. Because I got this great big air condition unit uh, sitting outside there. And uh, I don't know, man, it's, it sounds pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this. So, Yeah. Fi fine, F I F I N E, Fi fine. I believe that's the way you say it. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for an inexpensive microphone or you're just starting out, this is supposed to be for gaming. I'm going to use it to do scratch tracks for vocals because um, it's right here at my desk, which is nice. I don't have to go over to the other side of the room which is, oh my God, go, don't go to the other side of the room, you lazy bastard. No, I'm not saying that. I just, it's nice to have it at the desk where my keyboards are. I have a keyboard underneath here, keyboard here, keyboard there, um, everywhere a keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Um, never mind, I'm being an idiot. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually see the latency, how bad it is on this thing. I don't think it's that bad at all, actually. I am actually gonna turn on the metronome and let's see. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'm probably about maybe six inches away, seven inches away from the microphone right now. And I'm gonna go up just a little bit closer and see how that sounds. I actually turned my speakers down because it was coming over the speakers. And I also have the microphone probably up around, I wanna say one or two o'clock. And then I'm back here, I'm rolling back. This is me back here, rolling back, and I'm rolling forward, coming forward, coming forward, and I'm about two inches away from the microphone right now. So anyway, yeah, so um, check it out. I'm gonna play around with this thing and uh, do some more demos of it and see what happens, you know? Stay creative.